system. 16 players made it through the first round yesterday and they will each take on one of the 16 seeds who enter the competition today, including Michael Van Gerwen, who's won all four of the European Tour events held so far in 2015. I'm Mike Lawrence, Rod Harrington will be joining us in the commentary box later on but first of all i'm delighted to say a very good afternoon to dan dawson afternoon mike bit livelier in here today isn't it <laughs> certainly is bit livelier two two and a half thousand we're getting in for this afternoon and again for this evening's session as you say the seeded players entering the tournament eight games this afternoon eight games this evening including michael van gogh in world number one He's in action later on this evening, but we have got some serious, serious players entering the fray. Steve Beaton, the bronze Adonis. That wonderful tan thrown into relief by the brilliant white shirt that he's wearing today. What a legend. Oh, what a man. First Take it on. Mark to throw first. Game on. Mark Barilli, the man in black. The invisible man, as he's known. 60. Who appears to be wearing, I think that's his wristband for the day, that he's tied sort of... <laughs> tucked into his belt or one of the loops on his trousers like some sort of cheap paper holster for a gun a little fashion accessory for the 41 year old from Greenock in Scotland who 41. won a two year tour card at Q school in 2014 Of course, the players who came through the opening round yesterday, they have the advantage of having played on this stage already. The seeded players coming in cold, if you will. But with Mark Barilli, 100. he might have been caught a little bit on the hop this morning, bearing in mind that just an hour ago, he rather flusteredly hurried into the taxi from the hotel, completely unaware 85. that he was first up this afternoon <laughs> against the bronze that is Steve Beaton. So he's been hammering the practice board since then. But it's not been ideal preparation. 85. It was a fairly low-key first-round victory over Daniel Ziegler that Mark really enjoyed. 6-4. He made it through. That was the important 96. thing. But um, nothing to really set the world alight in terms of the averages or the, the standard of play, really. But as you say, he will now have that advantage 40. having played on the big stage Stay here at this fantastic Saxon Arena already once but it's Steve beaten down to a finish we hit treble 20 ah oh, wrong treble and left in the bullseye well he is going to get darts for this opening leg against the throw of Barilli yeah you said he wasn't particularly good against Daniel Ziegler in the first round yesterday it was pretty shocking but he did rattle off four consecutive legs to come from 4-2 down oh well he's missed the big number there is beaten 34 so he only got the one dart of the double, and that gives a little sniff of an opportunity to Barilli. Needs the treble. Doesn't get it. Winner of this one will face either Michael Smith, the number three seed, or Johnny Clayton, the Welshman. Playing in just his second European Tour event has beaten pins the late. One nil to the Adonis. And a break of throw early on for the former Lakeside world champion. He enjoyed success here in Germany on the European Tour two years ago, back in 2013. Yeah, the German darts masters, one of the European Tour events. Saw off Mervyn King in the final there. That's his last win on the Pro Tour. Did make the final in Gibraltar last year before losing out to James Wade. He's not had a great time since then on the European Tour, to be fair. He's played seven games and only won three of them 81 but he is still seeded seeded 14 here wow that was the dart of god <laughs> reverberating through my very soul that well that uh, woke everyone up i think when i ran out 14. And no finish from 1664 beaten I think he was put off by that earthquake of a dart <laughs> that he hit. Needed to switch down to the 19, so leave one, six, seven, and he's missed the 18s again hitting the four, but he does have a healthy lead. Well, that's going to be eroded. Seriously eroded. One I'm right out, 40. So one, two, two for Steve Beaton. He's not had a good time on the 18 so far. He's hit the four a couple of times whilst going for it. Needs the treble. A little bit awkward, just moving across the hockey. 
<laughs> now he's hit the one. 41. So a chance to break Mark back for Barilli. Trouble 19 for Tops. Needs to find a treble. Doesn't get it. 57. Steve, you require 81. So a chance to double his lead, having again gone around the houses rather like he did in the first leg. Well, big seven there. 41. Mark, you require 40. Game well, it's one apiece. Steve beat Mark Barilli. He was a bit scruffy in the third opening leg, leg but he got away with it. First game on. Not so generous in the second leg, Mark Barilli. Now the Adonis just uh, taking a little bit of time to find wow. his range on the uh, on the big uh, big stage here in Risa. One hundred. Former world champion Steve Beaton, of course, former world master. We've got 100. the former UK Open champion Robert Thornton this afternoon. Justin Pipe, who made the final on the European Tour a couple of weeks ago in Venray. Dave Chisnell, multiple major finalist. 100. Premier League star Kim Hybrix. And the diamond Ian White rounding off this afternoon's session against Mickey Mantle. 46. And the next game's an intriguing one. Mensor Sulevic, very dangerous customer, against Benito van der Pass, the young Dutchman, Big Ben, winner of that one, could 100. face Michael van Gerwen in the last 16. Certainly a contrast of styles between those two players, Mensor Sulevic and Benito van der Pass. 100. Oh, good ton, leaves Barilli on Shanghai. Beaton needs to apply some pressure, and he's... It's been just a little bit scruffy. One dart per visit. 94. He's usually missing a big Mark number, he's been. 120. Yes, he wants tops. 100. Steve, you require 107. Good start. Seven for double top for another another immediate break of 67. throw. Can't do it, so. Mark, you require 20. But really, with an early chance to nudge ahead. Double five. Needs to come well inside that dart. And well, 15. too far. Adjustment Steven the other way. And Beaton makes him pay. It's three Steven consecutive Fulton breaks Fulton of throw. And Steve Beaton wrestles on. the advantage back. Well, on the one hand, you can sort of say it's 94. early days in these games. But it only being first to six. That's the format right the way through this competition first to six legs right away up to and including the final you can soon find yourself chasing a game if you're not careful if you have too many wayward darts and wow, missed doubles wow, at this 14. format yeah we said games can quickly turn around yeah people can rattle off three or four legs in a hurry and and uh, things can really change quickly 28. Yeah, I mean, Barilli came from 4-2 down to beat Daniel Zugler. I don't think you're going to get that kind of opportunity against a man of Beaton's calibre. Wow. If he finds himself 4-2 down here, he's going to have to bring you some really, really good stuff to drag himself back into it. And he's absolutely nowhere near in this lane. Steve, require so all the time in the world, doesn't need to go the ball route. 58. Again, it's not a brilliant setup shot from Steve Beaton, but as I said, he's a long way ahead, and Barilli is doing 47. nothing here. Steve, you require 72. So is it 16s? No, he's gone straight at the treble 20 for double six, and that's the problem. I mean, he, 66. Uh, I thought he I might bust it. I wonder he might bust it, yeah, me as well, with um, Barilli still back on 308. Uh, Beaton's got all the time in the world here. 83, Steve, you require six. Right, change, change of plan. Two scored. Went straight for the double three and then thought better <laughs> of it. Two for double two. And he'll come back and have another go. And is Barilli going to be on a finish? 65. Well, he is, albeit Steve, a big you one. require four. Game and there the we go. Play. Steve Beaton gets Steve the job Beaton. done. We finally have a little bit of daylight between these Game two. On. 19 dart leg, but uh, got there in the end. 100. Uh, these two have met three times before. 100. 
on floor tournaments back in 2012. 2-1 in terms of the head-to-head -head in Beaton's favour, but... 60. And they all went 10 or 11 legs as well, so, you know, you would think that Barilli is quite capable of running 55. him close, although, to be honest, he's not really upped his game much from the match we saw against Daniel Zugler yesterday. Seventy-six. No, I think I think Mark knows, and, and we all knew that he would certainly have to up his game and, and up the standard 40. of play to progress further in the competition after uh, that victory over a fairly lacklustre Daniel Ziegler 55. in the opening round yesterday. Yeah, and effectively stolen the darts here is beaten. That's a blocker, so he'll come downstairs. Good cover shooting on the 19s. Yeah, really good. 34. Beaton sets that up nicely. It leaves that 72, which caused them a few problems in the previous leg. 100. Stabia requires 72. So is it the same route? It is. 60. Mark Better to leave double six than double three. But there's a chance now for Mark Barilli. Now it's gone. So frustrating when 40 straight Steve out your first start, miss the big number that Game completely ends your chance. A big check out, six legs, Steve, Steve beaten now. First. Game on. You would feel well in the driver's seat. That was another break of throw. So here he goes at the start of leg six. 46. And the second round match is all completed today. And then we'll have the third wow. round tomorrow. So it'll be either Michael Smith or Johnny Clayton taking on the winner of this tomorrow. The third round matches in the afternoon. And then the quarterfinal, the semi, wow. and the final all tomorrow night. 25 grand, 25,000 pounds, that is, to the uh, winner on each of these European Tour events 60. weekends. And at the moment, those winners' checks have all gone. Eight, addressed seven. to a certain Michael Van Gerwen. Yeah, a hundred thousand pounds is won this year just on the European tour already. Bear in mind that he comes 60. in in the second round stage, so what he plays five games over the weekend. Call it call it half an hour a game. Let's be generous. That's what one two and a half hour. Ten grand an hour. <laughs> Ten grand an hour of stage time. Michael Van Gerwen is earning on the European tour at the minute. Not bad work if you oh, can are, get it. There are some Premier League footballers who would be happy to earn 10 grand an hour. 100. Oh, beaten, putting himself in a strong position in this leg, and there's. Oh, well, a treble there would have applied 74. a little bit of pressure. There's not a great deal. Oh, lovely dart. Game sharpness. Steve Beaton is strolling Steve towards Beaton. victory Seven here. To throw first. Five one. And Barilli, well, against Daniel Zugler, it took him eight legs before he could actually hold his throw for the first time. He has failed to hold his throw in this one so far. If he doesn't do so here, his 70. tournament comes to an end. This is his debut on the uh, European tour. Well, Mark Barilli. Forty-three. Yes, the uh, the quality and the class of Steve Beaton that's held him in good stead for a good twenty-five years. It shouldn't be underestimated. I mean, he, he's fifty-one. But look, it looks glorious. But he's still there. He's still up there. You know, made a final of one of these in Gibraltar last year. And look at you know, you look at players that have. Come and gone as Beaton looks to fill this up and one does so. There you go, first 180 of the afternoon. Look at younger men that have played out their entire professional darts careers and fallen Steve by the wayside. Steve 81. Beaton is still there, still winning games of darts on the big stage. 
and still doing it with a smile on his face. He can wrap it up here and does so. An 11 data for Steve Beaton, safely through, comfortably through against Mark Barilli. And he will take on either Michael Smith or Johnny Clayton in the second, in the third round tomorrow. The second round action continues, and it could be.